Welcome in the fourth video that belongs to the valve preprocessing tutorial. In the previous video we have split the geometry of the valve into two parts and we have closed the holes and made the geometry watertight. In this video we will get back to the valve plug geometry and we will make three positions of the plug. Open at 5, 8 and 11 millimeters. And we will create groups of faces on the geometry in order to prepare the boundaries which we will use in CFD simulation afterwards. You can continue working in the previous salon session or you can start a fresh session and load the part 3 HDF file we have saved at the end of the third video. I have started a new session so I have to open the file from the third video. So I will go to file, open and I will open the file part 3 HDF. Now we have to activate the geometry module and expand the geometry in the object browser. Let's start showing the geometry of the plug faces. Expand region 3 closed, select all the faces and show them. Now select three faces on the top of the geometry and hide them because we will not going to use them anymore. Now let's make a shell from the visible faces, so select all the visible faces, go into the upper menu, new entity, build, shell, its name could be for example plug to move and click apply and close. And now we are ready to move the plug up for 5, 8 and 11 millimeters. In the upper menu go into the operations, transformation, translation. Set the name for example to plug dash 5 millimeters. Axis of plug displacement is Y axis. So set dy to 0 0.005, so it means 5 millimeters in meters. And click apply. Now change the dy displacement to 8 millimeters. And change the name, for example, to plug dash 8 millimeters. And click apply. And the last translation, dy 11 millimeters, and change the plug name to the plug dash 11 millimeters, and click apply and close. And now we have three positions of the plug, 5, 8, and 11 millimeters. In the following, we will make groups of boundaries on the geometry of the inlet part called region 1 closed and the outlet part called region 2 closed. We will select the inlet boundary, the outlet boundary and the rest will be the wall boundary group on both inlet and outlet part. So let's start with region 1 closed, so it means with the inlet part, so select and show only region 1 closed. In the upper menu, select new entity, group, create group. Select a face group in the shape type option. And now we will start with the region 1 inlet. So change the name, for example, to, to region 1 inlet. Select the inlet face from geometry. and click add. The face 136 has been added to the list of, of faces which belongs to the group. So it's the only one so we can now click apply. And the inlet face group is created. So let's go on with the outlet face group. So at first change the name to region 1 outlet Select the outlet face 
from geometry click add the phase 2 has been added and now click apply and the outlet phase group is created the last to create is the wall group so change the name to region 1 wall click on select all and select the inlet and outlet face and click remove now we have selected just the wall faces and we can click apply and close the inlet part region 1 is divided into the groups now inlet group, outlet group and wall group we can check if it is correctly divided by showing only new groups so select all the groups and click on show only and now we can check if we have here all the faces that are necessary for further preprocessing seems good so we can finish with the inlet part let's do the same for the outlet part region 2 closed select and show only region 2 closed shell and go into the upper menu new entity group create group select a face group in the shape type option and change the name of the new group to region 2 inlet Select the inlet face from the geometry and click add. The face 80 has been added so we can click on apply. And the inlet face group is created. So let's go on with the outlet face group. Change the name to region to outlet. Select the outlet face from the geometry click add the phase 2 has been added and now click apply and the outlet phase group is created and the last to create is the wall group so change the name to region to wall click select all and now select the outlet phase and the inlet face and click on remove and now click apply and close because we have now selected just the wall faces so and now the inlet part is divided into three groups inlet group outlet group and the wall group so everything seems okay so we can finish with the outlet part so we have created three positions of the plug and groups of faces of the valve in this video so now it's time to save the progress so press ctrl s and save the progress for example as part 4hdf and press save so and that's all from the fourth video.